funnily enough, no matter what operating system you're using, you're probably still gonna be using the same browser. So in terms of the experience of your staff and the experience of your customers, the operating system that you choose doesn't really matter. The ecosystem that you choose for your workflow productivity tools does matter. Anonymous asks, I'm a physician in the US and planning to start my own practice. My philosophy of care is patient-centered and I would like to promote my patients and staff a seamless integrated tech experience. Ha, wouldn't we all? I'm debating between the Apple ecosystem versus Google and would like to have a chat and a possible consult. Well, lucky you, Anonymous, I'm gonna give you a free consult here and you don't even have to jump on a call. So if you're choosing between different ecosystems for your business setup, considering Google, obviously something that we're gonna recommend. Microsoft is the other ecosystem that people typically will go with, given that a lot of legacy applications, workflows, and a lot of staff are just used to using Microsoft. And so thinking Outlook, Word, Excel, and all of your Microsoft applications, which people may be familiar with if they've worked in corporate or they've worked in other businesses over time. Now, Google is its own ecosystem. And by ecosystem, I mean files, cloud storage, email communication, chat apps, and then, you know, collaboration features, right? Collaborative document formats, the ability to do meetings online as well. Now, Microsoft and Google are the two main ecosystems that people will work with, but you also have the option of Apple as well. So Apple, while they're not really known for a business ecosystem, they're more known as a consumer ecosystem. Things like iCloud, which will synchronize your contacts between your different devices. Things like you can get an Apple email address and that'll be available across all your devices. That's less so ecosystem that you would use for your business productivity tools or your business productivity software. But there's no hurt in buying Apple hardware for your business. In fact, I recommend considering Apple hardware for your business. Now, this person has asked about the Apple ecosystem versus the Google ecosystem. And their goal here is to have a seamless integrated tech experience. My suggestion is the best way to get a seamless tech experience or what you're most likely going to be aiming for with a seamless tech experience is going to come down to the software that you're using for the business. Now, most software operates in the browser these days. So you're working with cloud-based, browser-based booking services, cloud-based, browser-based accounting services, cloud-based staff rostering and management systems, probably even a client booking system that's online that customers can potentially even book themselves. So that experience isn't really gonna matter whether you're using a Mac or a PC or a Google Chrome device like a Chromebook or a Chromebox to access them because you're probably just gonna be using the Chrome browser and funnily enough, no matter what operating system you're using, you're probably still gonna be using the same browser. So in terms of the experience of your staff and the experience of your customers, the operating system that you choose doesn't really matter. The ecosystem that you choose for your workflow productivity tools does matter. In my humble opinion, using Google is gonna be far superior to Microsoft because it's better with collaboration. It's cloud first, so there's no apps to install or to manage. It is better with cross-platform compatibility. So if you do have a mix of devices, Google tends to work better across different platforms because it's more consistent, being that most of it just exists in the browser. But there is still an important question here. And the important question is, well, what do you then do with the hardware? Now, if you imagine like a medical or uh, allied health practitioner's clinic, no matter what kind of services that's being delivered to your customers, if you want something that's seamless, I'm imagining a clinic would fit in with the brand ethos of Apple being you know, refined and a little bit luxury. And iMacs always look really nice in a foyer reception area, right? It's a good look if you've got an allied health. Like if you're a dentist and you're cleaning someone's teeth, having a nice clean Apple computer in the reception area, it matches the brand presence, right? It makes sense. So in that case, you may choose to pay the price premium for an Apple machine. They're very, very reliable machines. They're very unlikely to be impacted by malware or spyware or viruses. So they're very robust and for brand reasons, you may choose to go with that. But there is an alternative, which is obviously to consider the Google ecosystem of devices. And that would be maybe an Android tablet, but most likely what we're talking about here is a Chromebook or a Chromebox. So these are running Chrome OS, which is different to Mac and different to Windows. It is its own operating system based around the Chrome browser. Now it's a very basic operating system. You can't do all the things that you can do on a Mac and you can't do all the things that you can do on a Windows PC. But if all of your apps are in the cloud and all of your business delivery happens on cloud-based or browser-based applications, 
Chrome device, perfect for this application. And particularly if you're using the Google Workspace ecosystem, that means that you basically get access to all of Google's tools fully integrated into your device as well. So you can set policies in Google Workspace and have them land on your device, like a Chromebook or a Chromebox. If you wanna change the background picture, sure, that's a basic one. Maybe something like if you want to have a standard set of bookmarks rolled off across everyone's browser. Maybe you want to set if a computer is in a public space, how long people can use it until it automatically signs itself out. So these are all options available for you if you go with Chrome OS. And I've got a number of other videos on our channel specifically on Chrome OS, so go ahead and search for that. But if you're a business owner and you're choosing between Chrome and Mac, I'm going to say it's probably not going to be that difference in terms of reliability or experience. The main difference it's going to come down to is cost. And my personal preference is wherever possible to use Chrome OS because it is simple. The IT management and maintenance is nearly zero. They are very reliable machines and they're deeply integrated into the Google ecosystem. So if you haven't already given a Chromebook a go, it's a good idea to watch some of the other videos on our channel and test it out if you are in the Google Workspace ecosystem because you'll probably find it's a great device for your business. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.